In this video, I will unveil the essential medication rules you absolutely need to know before jetting off to your dream destination. Trust me, you don't want to embark on your journey without this crucial information. We're kicking things off with 10 essential tips that will lay the groundwork for managing your medication while abroad. From pre-flight preparations to in-flight necessities, we've got you covered every step of the way. Plus, I'll be revealing some important websites you need to be aware of during your travels. So grab a pen, take some notes, and let's delve into all the essential information you need for a healthy and stress-free journey. So let's get started. So here are 10 essential tips for traveling with medication. Number one, pack medication properly. Always carry your medication in its original pharmacy packaging accompanied by a copy of your prescription and a letter from your prescriber. Remember to distribute your medication between your hand luggage and your hold luggage. Number two, prepare well in advance. Allow ample time to prepare for your trip, especially if you take regular medication. Schedule a medical checkup to discuss your fitness to travel. Ensure your medication is optimized and secure sufficient supplies for the duration of your trip, including extra just in case there are flight delays or lost luggage. Number three, NHS prescription supplies. Your NHS doctor's surgery accepts responsibility for supplying sufficient ongoing medication for temporary periods abroad. And this is typically up to three months supply under their discretion. Number four, Research Entry Regulations Now some countries may have strict regulations regarding the entry of certain types of medication, so be sure to research and understand these regulations as they may vary from country to country. Number five, be mindful of over-the-counter medicines. Now regulations may also apply to over-the-counter medications available in UK pharmacies. Ensure you're aware of any restrictions or permissions required for these medications in your destination country. Number six, controlled medications. Now certain medications are classified as controlled drugs in the UK. If you're carrying a quantity exceeding three months supply, you'll need to obtain an export license. The application should be made at least 10 days prior to travel. Some examples of controlled drugs include diamorphine, diazepam, codeine, fentanyl, methadone, morphine, pethidine, ritalin, and temazepam. It's advisable to carry a letter from your prescribing healthcare professional detailing your medications. Number seven, check legal status abroad. Remember that the legal status of your medication may differ outside the UK. Check that the foreign embassy in the UK for specific regulations, though obtaining information for certain countries can be challenging. I will provide other useful resources in the description box below. Number eight, obtain necessary permissions. Now, some countries may require specific permissions for bringing in certain medications. Be proactive in obtaining any necessary permits or documentations to avoid issues at customs. Number nine, research medication availability. Investigate whether your medication is readily available in your destination country. If not, consider carrying sufficient supplies or exploring alternatives in consultation with your healthcare provider just in case. Number 10, stay informed and prepared. So stay updated on any changes to medication regulations and travel advisories for your destination. Additionally, consider investing in travel insurance that covers medical emergencies for any unforeseen circumstances. So by adhering to these essential tips, you can ensure a smooth and stress-free travel experience while managing your medication responsibly and effectively. So as promised, here is some additional information that travellers should also be advised to do. Contact the airline in advance to make appropriate arrangements if needing to fly with oxygen, insulin or other injectable medicines. 
check storage requirements for medication in advance, arrangements for control of temperature during transit with certain medications may be needed. Request a letter or note from your prescriber detailing the medicines with the generic names or chemical names for the medications because this can be helpful during border control checks and just in case it's necessary to replace certain medicines or just in case you need medical help. And here's some final caution during travel. Medications for recognized health conditions may come under intense scrutiny by foreign officials at border controls. This can result in delays, disruption or medicines being confiscated if the correct paperwork and permissions have not been arranged. For example, where there are specific regulations or requirements relating to taking a medication abroad, such as for medications containing controlled drugs. On rare occasions, travellers who have been found to have drugs that are illegal at the destination or transit country have been imprisoned. The International Association for Medical Assistance to Travellers and the International Society of Travel Medicine's Global Clinic Directory can provide contact details of medical practitioners overseas. I will leave a link for all these resources in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week and hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified about new videos and please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you've enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. And you can also check out my other videos or playlist.